All right, so more, effect, more affecting trinomials. Um, these steps, one through seven, they are still important steps. Now, I remember last time when I introduced you to these steps, you guys were all asking, why do I need to do the box? Right? I can find my answer if I just look at the factors, right? You guys remember saying that? Yeah. Well, today, the box is necessary because we're going to be factoring trinomials where A is not one. Okay. So, here's our trinomial. 6x squared plus 7x minus 20. So I'm still going to use those steps, 1 through 7. Okay. But I'm going to try to factor this trinomial. All right. So, that trinomial, what is our A value? What is our A value? 6. What's my C value? Negative 20. Now, before I go to factors, do you guys see any number that's common in both, in every term? Is there any common number? Just one, right? Okay. So I can't take a one out. So we're going to factor by using the method we've used before. So A is 6, B is 7, and C is... Okay. Step one, multiply A and C. So 6 times negative 20. What does that equal? Negative yeah, negative 120. So now we need to find the factors of negative 120. Right? So let's find the factors of negative 120. What are they? <clears throat> Okay, 1 and negative 120, negative 1 and 120, right? What are some more factors? 2 and negative 60, negative 2 and positive 60. Any more? 3 and negative 40, negative 3 and 40. And have 1 negative because negative 120 is negative. Any more? Four, negative 4 and 30, or 4 and negative 30. Any more? 5 and negative 24, or negative 5 and 24. Any more? What? 6 and 20, or negative, six, or negative 20 and 6. Any more? 8 and 15, one's got to be negative, right? Any more? 10 and 12, one's got to be negative, right? Lots of factors, huh? Now, what do I need to add to? 7, positive or negative? Positive 7, right? So which combination adds to positive 7? Negative 8 and 15. That adds to positive 7. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Okay. Now for the interest of room, I'm just going to erase all my factors. You don't have to erase yours if you don't want to. Hopefully I gave you more room than I gave myself. But negative 8 and 15, those are our factors, right? Okay. So then I'm going to take the 6x squared plus 7x minus 20... And I'm going to rewrite it to be 6x squared minus 8x plus 15x minus 20, right? It's like I took the 7x and I rewrote it as negative 8 plus 15. Right? Does that make sense? You guys with me? Okay. So now we box. 6x squared, negative 8x, 15x. <clears throat> negative 20. Now those of you that have been trying to shortcut, you didn't want a box like I told you to, right? You're going to write down x minus 8, x plus 15. You're going to think you're good. Anybody do that? x minus 8, x plus 15? Yeah? Anybody do that? Trying to shortcut it? Anybody do this? I'm slow. I didn't even notice I was doing that. Oh. Good. I'm glad you didn't notice it. I'm glad. 
Because then you had to, to forget an old habit then. Because if you do this, the first term is x squared, is that right? No, because I have 6x squared, right? The first term has to be 6x squared. There's no way I can get 6x squared out of this. Okay? So this is not right. That's why the shortcut isn't right. You take shortcuts, you miss the view. All right? You're missing the whole thing. All right, so let's find our, let's find our answer here. What's the greatest common factor between 6x squared and negative 8x? Not 3. So 2. 2x. Two, two okay? Now, if you're someone who's not very good at fat GCFs or, or it takes you a long time to do them, there's extra space in these boxes, right? Right? You can write the factors down. So 1 and 6, 2 and 3, 1 and 8, 2 and 4, right? And find the biggest number in both lists. Does that make sense? What about here? 15 and negative 20. 5. X? No, because 20 doesn't have an X. Now on top, biggest factor here. It'll have an X. Three. Biggest factor here. Negative four. It's got to be negative because that's negative, right? Right? So now my factors then are 2X plus 5 and 3X minus 4. So that is this factor. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Now let me show you a quick shortcut. Or not a quick shortcut. A quick check. Okay, I said shortcut. It was a shortcut. Quick check. Where the rows and columns overlap, the numbers should equal this if they're multiplied. That's what I mean. 3x and 2x overlap here. So I get 6x squared. Yeah. Negative 4 and 2x overlap here. Negative 8, right? 3x and 5 overlap here, right? 15x. Is that right? Negative 4 and 5 overlap here. Negative 20. So that tells me that I am right. correct. I'm right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any other questions? Any questions about that? Let's try another one. All right, so this other one is 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. Is there, is there a greatest common factor right now? Is there a number I can take out of everything? No. All right, so what's my first step? 8 times 3, positive or negative 8? Negative 8. A is 3, C is negative 8. So 3 times negative 8, what does that equal? Good, negative 24. Okay, take a moment, write down the factors of negative 24. Take a moment, write down the factors of negative 24. Okay, what are some factors? Okay, negative 1 and 24, negative 24 and 1. Don't forget your negatives, guys. They're important. Okay, what else? 2 and negative 12 and... Okay. 3 and negative 8. 
negative 3 and 8. 4 and negative 6. Negative 6 go. Negative 4 and yeah. Now, some of you are saying, why did you write down the rest? I know the answer is already. Okay, if you could do a spot where you know the answer, you don't keep going. You can, you can stop there. So, which factors were? 2 and negative 12. So once you got to here, guys, if you don't want to keep going, that's fine. I'm okay with that. All right, I don't need you to write down all the factors. I'm in seventh grade anymore, right? Well, factoring, not, not, not factors. All right, so I'm going to take the 3x squared minus 10x minus 8, and we're going to expand that to include 3x squared plus 2x minus 12x minus 8, right? The 2 and the 12 came from the 10. Does that make sense? Okay. Then next we box. 3x squared, 2x, negative 12x, negative 8. Right, I want you to take a moment. I want you to find the GCFs of both of those. Or sorry, the GCFs of each column and each row. Got a factor app on your phone? That'd be cool to have a factor on your phone. Mom? Yeah. So these two negative? No. No. Oh. That one, the three can't be negative. Are these factors? Yeah. No, they can't both be negative. Because two negatives make a positive. All right, what's the GCF here? Three. One. Mm -hmm. X. X, good. What's the GCF here? Negative four. Good. Got to be negative because that's negative. What's the GCF here? Three. Right here? Two. Two. Does that mean, oh, positive. That means my factors are x minus 4 and 3x plus 2. Okay. Does that make sense? The order does not matter. So if you have 3x plus 2, then x minus 4, that's fine. 